Time to play with some clay. Hello, I'm David Lemon, and I've uh, put together a group of instructional DVDs to help those interested in sculpting in clay. This video you're about to watch is a review of one of those DVDs called Creating a Full Figure of a Plains Warrior. At the end of the video I show you purchasing options for this DVD as well as others on my list. Now, let's take a brief look at what's on this DVD, Creating a Full Figure of a Plains Warrior. Sculpture I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a picture right now of what I'm thinking I'm do doing. I'm going to first uh, get this all anchored down properly. And I'm just checking the measurements on the head and making sure all the proportions are correct. Fill these two cups with A and B mixture. Now I got this fo uh, this foam. Uh, it's taxidermy foam from my foundry. It's making a real dull, duller and duller noise, and that means it's foam. Okay, now, it's just a matter of getting it all out of the cup. All right, now I'll just sit and watch the uh, foam rise. It only takes a few minutes for it to uh, expand, and... Uh, and just using a, a serrated edged uh, carving knife, I just start uh, cutting away the foam that I don't want. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just sketch in the upper part of the body. Um, and I'll, show, I'll put the picture up that I'm working from, uh, some of the pictures. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the body under the clothing. I'm going to do the basics. But you just have to really have the basic shape of uh, the leg with the muscles in there. I'm using a wire tool with a serrated edge. Uh, it helps to uh, show what I'm doing. Uh, it, it, it helps you see the shape to uh, detail of the muscles. I mean, I'm going to lay them out like they're supposed to be uh, to get the uh, form under the uh, shirt that I'm going to be putting on him. The thing you got to watch when you're doing this type of thing is not to make it look like Hercules. Uh, when I first started adding muscles to uh, uh, armatures and stuff like that, I started out uh, very big muscles and they all looked like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger by the time I got done. Well, I worked on his face and I got it. I was able to work on his shirt a little bit. I'm still working on that to form it out. Got his pants legs all done on both sides. Well, yesterday I uh, added the rifle to the uh, outfit, and if you can see on the picture, you can see where I've got the rifle. He's got the rifle in his belt. It's an authentic uh, Indian rifle, not this one, but the one he has. The uh, arrows to sort of match uh, what would have happened. I also attached a uh, strap to his rifle through the hole that was in the. Uh, stock of the rifle as well as add a uh, ramrod for the, uh, the rifle too. And I'll cover in above them after I get done. So I'm going to go ahead and continue doing that. Well I got the bear claws on. So anyway you see now that I've cut the head off and it was easy to take off because there's the wire goes right up into the foam and you can take it off anyway. So now I'm going to make an armature for the new head. All right, here I put the uh, new head on a temporary armature, a, a makeshift armature, and I'm starting to uh, produce the uh, face here. I've got the face pretty well blocked in, and uh, now I'm going to go fine-tune it. All right, I'm pretty much done with the face right now. Um, I'm going to add feathers to him, his headdress, but before I can do that, I'm going to make the feathers. All right, I've... Uh, added some feathers to it. It's not done. I've still got lots of feathers to go. But you can see how far it's, and how nice it's going to look uh, with the feathers. On here to scale each of the feathers for my headdress. 
And what I've done is I figured out the uh, scale, which is about a head and a half. Not a lot, just heat up a little bit. And then I press it into the clay and it melts into the clay. And the armature becomes part of the feather. At the end of the feather, or the uh, armature, you can see where it's melted into the clay. And the reason I've melted into the clay is because it actually adheres to the clay then. I'm going to sit back here and show you the pieces from a distance. It's turning out pretty good. I'm happy with it right now. I may not be happy with it tomorrow, but we'll find out. All right, I just got back from uh, Lake Tahoe, and I'm now in my studio doing some final detailing. I've, uh, I, I believe I sold a copy of this to the, someone in Tahoe at the time, and I was getting it ready to go to the foundry, and it's been about, oh, probably a good month or so after I got home that I was finally getting done with it. Um, anyway, I'm just uh, doing fine detailing in the uh, feathers. I'm, uh, I talk about uh, getting paint to match the color of your clay and how to do that so that you can paint over those things that uh, uh, need to be uh, blended in with the rest of it so your eye isn't fooled. And here I am just, like I said, putting final, final little you know, textures in the loincloth. And here I am just reviewing the clay before I take it to the foundry. All right, this is a prairie warrior. Uh, he's been cut apart. This is the uh, body part of him. He's uh, Got the rubber mold on it, and you can see the gate around the edge of the uh, mold. Turns it completely black to bronze, which is white, uh, totally black, using a, a potash solution. And now we're just buffing out areas like the arms, and that, that'll be a lighter color. And now I'll let you watch him uh, color it. All right, I think is I got the uh, base just about done on this now, and uh, soon he'll be. Uh, Putting the color on. How long have we been on this so far? Several hours. Isn't it? Several hours. A little over two hours. Yeah, two hours to get to this point. Now remember, you got to yeah. wipe the inside of it back here. So now Isaac, now Isaac is uh, putting detail into the uh, beadwork on the legging. I think that much longer to go. You know what? It gets going pretty fast once you're done with the white. Yeah. Well, you just got to put on there carefully. You got to have the values established. You just slop it on there or else it looks really crappy. Right. All right, that's uh, a look at the creation of this piece, uh, Plains Warrior. Um, the steps that I took in creating this piece are steps that can be taken in creating any figure that you wish to do. So. Uh, it's it's instructional in how to do um, clothing and stuff. Let's go to the computer now and I'll show you. First you go to my website uh, where I have all my nine instructional DVDs offered to you for sale and uh, are listed and uh, a short review of each uh, DVD. It opens up onto this page, Clay to Bronze, and, uh, and you'll see a review of all my uh, current nine uh, instructional DVDs uh, listed here, uh, and each one is uh, linked to a YouTube review video of uh, the items or the uh, subject on each one of the uh, DVDs. And uh, you pick out the one you want, or the ones you want. Uh, you can pick uh, more than one or all of them, but anyway. Then you go over to the upper part of the uh, right column. And there you'll find this drop-down menu. Where you purchase my instructional DVDs. And you just uh, click on the little arrow right here. And that drops down a menu and it shows you the listing of all available uh, DVDs I currently have available for you to purchase. Purchase uh, more than one, um, that's fine if you want to purchase this one uh, uh, DVD or a set of DVDs. Uh, that's fine too. Uh, there's a, 
There's also available the ability to purchase all of uh, the selected nine uh, DVDs and uh, in one package and you can save uh, over a hundred dollars in that purchase. So using the drop down menu you go down until you find one that you want for instance for instance creating a horse's head in clay you click on it and then you click on add to cart when you click on the uh, add to cart a page will come up uh, linked to PayPal your PayPal account you just uh, make your purchase if you want to add another one to your cart you just uh, go down and uh, for instance uh, a full figure of a mountain man uh, click on that add that to your cart then it comes up uh, on your PayPal page again and so now you got two DVDs and uh, with the total and everything that you pay to uh, PayPal of course all right I hope that's helpful I hope uh, you got something from this and uh, I hope I've uh, perked up your interest in sculpting it's a wonderful uh, career it's a wonderful hobby uh, you can make into a career and uh, it, it, the, the world opens up to you when you when you can sculpt and you, eventually at, you'll figure out ways of sculpting better every day every time you sculpt something you'll learn something from the last one you did and that's I still learn I'm doing this for geez over 50 years and I'm still learning I'm still doing things for the first time so you, you just have to have patience and uh, know that uh, eventually all this is going to work out fine all right um, I'm going to let you go now and uh, see you next time happy sculpting